So now that we're all woke in current year, people, we, we obviously, we can't invite bands that might have offensive, offensive in air quotes, names to our state fair because it might offend somebody. Uh, you know, we just have to banish that. It's like 1984 is a playbook and not a dystopian novel. This story comes in today about the band called Confederate Railroad. I don't know if you ever heard of these guys, but they were pretty big in the early to mid 90s. And, and this band has just been making a living doing music, playing state fairs. They've been playing, you know, doing radio and all this other stuff. Pretty, pretty uh, successful. But you can see the problem, you evil racist, can't you? Their name is Confederate Railroad. Well, it was confirmed today. They've been dropped from the lineup at the Duquan State Fair in Illinois because of its name. They have Confederate in the... We can't have that. What's even worse, a bigger sin? They might even have a Confederate battle flag in their logo. I mean, are these guys not woke? I mean, they've only been doing music for 30 freaking plus years. And suddenly, today, it's a problem. Well, the group's founder and frontman, Danny Shirley, he, you know, he's cool. He said, we're very disappointed, but don't boycott the show. Restless Heart and Shenandoah are going to be there. They're going to have a good time. Please show up and enjoy. He says the outpouring of support from Confederate Railroad fans, fans of other acts, and the public in general has been both overwhelming and very much appreciated. He said, I have faith that God will see us through this as well as whatever comes next. We see also a Christian. That is a double no, no. Charlie Daniels chimed in in a tweet. This political correctness thing is totally out of control. When a fair cancels the Confederate Railroad band because of their name, it's giving into fascism, plain and simple, and our freedom disappears piece by piece. Sick of it. Um, Charlie, you had a song called The South's Gonna Rise Again, buddy. You just, oh, you, you just better toe the line on this political correctness stuff or you're not gonna get invited anywhere. So if you don't like Confederate things in band names, well, you better throw your Leonard Skinner albums out, folks. No more Free Bird, you know, no more uh, any of their songs. Ooh, that smell, you know, Saturday Night Special. Forget it. Throw it away. You know, they're talking about smells and drugs, again, anti drugs, actually. An anti 38 special, which was a gun that was used to kill a lot. No, 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 no. Take them out and burn them like they're a big pile of Beatles albums when after John Lennon said they're bigger than Jesus Christ. Just burn them. Have a big disco burn party like they did in 1979 in Chicago. Just burn them. Get rid of them. All the Charlie Daniels records, 38 Special, Leonard Skinner, Confederate Railroad. Oh, come on. Florida Georgia Line. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Two of the biggest states in the Confederacy. No more on the radio for those guys. Kentucky Headhunters. That could offend a headhunter in some place in the middle of the Indian Ocean. No, 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 no. Sorry. We, we can't have that is that where we're going today didn't i just hear the john wayne the airport in california they want to rename it because he said something about negroes in an interview back in 1970 this is getting insane people because they're not racist they just play good music that we've all enjoyed for decades and now these freaking snowflakes want to take even that away James Maxwell, thank you for listening.